John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a consumer credit expert. And today's vlog is going to be about one of the myths regarding credit repair. And that myth is going to be about the 609 dispute letter. If you Google 609 dispute letter, you're going to find countless articles, some of them that I've written about this concept of a 609 dispute letter. And so I'm going to explain what it is and whether or not it is effective to cause the credit reporting agencies to remove information from your credit report. First and foremost, the 609 dispute letter is a credit repair tool and credit repair is the process whereby you the consumer would hire a company a for-profit company and pay them for a service that is positioned from their perspective in any way to help improve your credit whether that's to improve your credit score or to cause the credit bureaus to delete negative information from your credit report any reasonable derivative of the word improve is would be considered credit repair if you're paying the company and they are in fact for profit if a company is for profit and and they're charging you for services billed as improving your credit, even if they say, hey, I'm not a credit repair company, the law dictates otherwise. The law suggests that they are a credit repair company. And one of the tactics that these credit repair companies use is sending letters, dispute letters, to the credit reporting agencies asking them to either investigate items or to otherwise remove items from their clients' credit reports. That is not uncommon. It's also not new. This process has been around for decades. The 609 dispute letter, however, is something that is on the newer end of the credit repair spectrum. It's certainly not brand new, but it's something that has been around clearly not as long as the process of credit repair itself. 609 refers to a section of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So it's actually 609 of the FCRA. And the Fair Credit Reporting Act, if you're not familiar with it, is the federal statute that defines our rights as consumers vis-a-vis the information in our credit reports. It's a very long statute, so it doesn't make sense to go over the entire thing here with you today. But let's just su suffice to say that it lays out your rights and protects you with respect to your credit report information. Section 609 of the Fair Credit Reporting Act is the section of the act that entitles us to a copy or to receive information from the credit reporting agencies that they have in their systems. Interestingly enough, Section 609 doesn't have anything to do with disputing information on your credit reports. And if you go through the Fair Credit Reporting Act and do a word search on 609 dispute letter or 609 dispute or dispute letter under Section 609, you're not going to find anything because it simply does not exist. The section essentially guarantees us the right to get copies of everything that the credit bureaus have in their systems. What it does not entitle us to is information that the credit reporting agencies do not have in their systems. And so one of the concepts of the uh, 609 dispute letter is if you ask for the credit reporting agencies to produce information that they clearly do not have, then they are somehow obligated under federal law to remove the offensive item from your credit reports. And let me give you a very good example. If you send in one of these 609 dispute letters to the credit bureaus and you ask for a copy of your original promissory note with your lender or the original cardholder agreement with one of your credit card issuers or copies of checks that you have mailed for those of you who still write checks for copies of checks that have been mailed to make payments on obligations. Clearly, the credit reporting agencies are not going to have any of that stuff. They're not your lender. Your lender is going to have a record of all of those things. However, the theory behind the Section 609 dispute letter is because you're asking for something and the credit reporting agencies clearly don't have it, that somehow they're obligated to delete the item from your credit report. That is incorrect. Section 609 entitles you to information that the credit reporting agencies have about you in their systems. It does not entitle you to information that they do not have in their systems. And so if you are seeking to have information removed from your credit reports, there's clearly a valid way 
to do this. You can yourself write a letter to the credit reporting companies. You can hire a credit repair company to send dispute letters to reporting agencies. This is a free country. You can pay a company to do almost any service that you don't want to do for yourself. And that includes trying to get information removed from your credit reports. But if you are being charged for a kind of a specialty letter, the 609 dispute letter, and you're being charged something more than you're being charged for just normal garden variety dispute letters, be aware that you don't have any rights under Section 609 to have information removed from your credit reports. That's actually Section 611. So it actually should be a Section 611 dispute letter, but hey, I'm not in, I don't do credit repair, so that's not my call. You can also file disputes online with the credit reporting agencies directly and circumvent credit repair companies entirely. But if you choose to hire a credit repair company, hey, more power to you. Like I said, it's a free country that, you know, rock and roll, do what you want. Credit repair companies generally charge a fee somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 50 to 100, sometimes more per month. It's usually on a subscription-based service. Some of the credit repair companies charge on a pay-per-delete model, meaning that they only will charge you a fee once information has been removed from your credit reports as a result of their actions. So that's the concept of the Section 609 letter. And if you Google the term Section 609, you're going to find articles, videos, and what online that really span the gamut of identifying it as almost fraudulent and completely ineffective, all the way to the other side of the spectrum, which is that it's like the silver bullet and it can cause the credit bureaus to delete anything from your credit reports. Let me tell you a little secret. I actually used to work for one of the credit reporting agencies and I used to manage the consumer dispute resolution process. There was absolutely nothing that we did different. That era's version of the Section 609 dispute letter. We didn't do anything faster. We didn't send any different dispute forms to the furnishing party. We didn't word the disputes any differently. Nothing was done differently because of a Section 609 letter. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Again, if you're going to hire a credit repair company to cause or to try to get information removed from your credit reports, that's fine. But be, just be aware, spend your money wisely, and don't fall for any of the scams. Some of them are very ethical companies. I know a lot of them, they're good people. I know a lot of them are that are dirtbags. So just be aware of that. Do some research before you start paying for things like specialty letters, because they may not be any more effective than other credit repair letters or perhaps letters that you could write on your own. So if you have any questions, please add them in the comment section. I'd be happy to address them. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a good one. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.